For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Walls Outdoors with me, Mike. So I'm going to give you guys a bit of a sort of a video talking about um, Sunflating Mat. So Sunflating Mat is a concept that's been around um, for many years now, but I think it's certainly become more mass market due to reliability reasons, uh, but also comfort. So the idea of being is actually it's a, a mat that's got a, a high level of foam insulated in it. And when you open the valve, the foam expands and draws the air in. So the choice means you can have something like this, there's no need to actually buy an uh, additional pump or anything for it because it's, like I said, that, that foam will it ha happily self-expand itself. So all you really need to do, in essence, is kind of open the valve up and allow the air just to sort of suck itself in. Now, depending on what kind of make or model you go for, they do sometimes have different valves. Your more sort of traditional ones, which you've seen sort of backpacking mats, is almost like a kind of like a screw cap. Um, so you unscrew it to open the valve up and then obviously it allows the air to come in. Um, but the more kind of more modern day ones for family camping, at least anyway, tends to be this kind of valve here, as you can see. So what you can actually do is this is almost like it rotates. Um, so if you just open it up like so, and then you can either put it sort of halfway or fully open and just let the uh, mat kind of just unravel itself. What happens is the, obviously the foam expands, draws air in, and it sort of inflates itself as you want it to. So it's quite quick. Admittedly, probably the first time you get out, it's been packed away so long, the foam might take a little bit longer to expand. Um, but the joys of it, again, is like I said, it's just that extra layer of comfort. All you then would do is seal the valve up so you can return it sort of uh, to be a one-way valve. So you can either have it, the air going in or the air going out, um, which you can quite clearly see from that uh, little shot we showed you earlier. Once it's actually point up, you can just seal that up. Now, on this particular one, because it's kind of like a slightly larger and wider one, it's got two inflation valves. That means it's going to be quicker to inflate and more importantly, quicker to get the air back out as well. If you want to, it, admittedly the pressure you get to it isn't quite as sometimes firm initially as you when you first do it. Like I said, the more and more you use the mat, uh, the quicker it becomes inflating uh, and the more kind of firm it becomes naturally. You can, if you want to, increase the pressure a little bit just by kind of uh, turning that one-way valve um, so it's only allowing air to come in and just kind of either using a pump to put a bit of air in or use your mouth. The only thing I would say with the mouth lost is a lot of moisture. Um, so a lot of companies will now use kind of like an antibacterial uh, foam inside of it just to stop it getting kind of warm and moist and um, essentially, well, rotting only from the inside out, if you will. Um, but generally it tends to be normally fine. It's all about making sure it's nice and dry. Um, so if I pop that in, and just putting your lips around that and create a nice seal, pump a little bit of air in it, just helps to firm it up. But the joys of sunflake mats is obviously, A, they're comfier, in my opinion, than the higher is their bed. They're a lot more reliable because they've got just a single round weld around the outside rather than loads of welds. But because obviously there's foam throughout it, it's actually insulated. So again, it's going to be a little bit warmer and because you've got the foam, a little bit comfier. This one I'm on now is just kind of a 10 centimetre. They generally find you in different sort of uh, depths, if you will. The more, I suppose for kids, five centimeters normally adequate. Adults, I'd start around at seven and a half and you can build upwards. Obviously, the thicker it is, the more comfy it's gonna be. And we do now sort of, kind of some very high end, um, what they call it. It's kind of like a hybrid. It's half, half air bed, half sound flat in that. So you get the height, you get like a memory foam top. Um, something like the Vanga Shangri-La or the, um, some of the high end camper kips. Um, the Dream Boat from Mount Wales. There's a load of them, you know, Zempire do their own big boys as well. So there's quite a, a mix and match range there. More importantly is obviously packing it away. The key thing really is you can, especially with this kind of valve system where you can twist and turn it so it only allows air in one or sort of in or out. You can twist that valve so it's obviously just allowing air out. So you can see it like so. Then, Naturally, what you do is go to roll from the sealed end, i.e. at the bottom, to where the valve's located. Uh, with this, you can leave the kind of cap open like so. If I do, if you put it on the bottom, it leaves it open. And all we do is simply either roll from the sealed end upwards. The joys of this process, you can do this one, several times if you wanted to, just because it's a one-way valve. If you suddenly sort of 
let go if you will no air to come back into that so you can get again just kind of do it in a gradual stage personally i like to sort of do the best i can first and foremost even just sort of folding in half and or pressing on it if need be jump on it a little bit then you can more than happily unravel it and start again if you haven't got that kind of valve system all you do is when you get to that age just twist it lock the valves off so they're sealed and then finally get a bit of a nicer tighter roll and what you'll find is the air is then pushed all towards the end so you see there's obviously a bit of air left in there just push that extra bit of air out turn that so it's still on deflate just pop the caps back in so you hear the clip and that's it and then that's then going to be stay deflated normally they tend to come with kind of a bag and straps just to kind of retain it and put it in a nice sort of closed area but there are a range of them as you can see we've got a whole rack of singles a rack of doubles in the shop so you can always what a lot of people would tend to do is give them a test and see what sort of works best for them but it's certainly a more reliable way in relation to airbeds and like i said because it's essentially it's more comfier if you want a kind of if it's a bit low to the ground you can then look at like a camp bed just to get that height so camp bed sound flat amount on top is kind of like the ideal way but admittedly as you can see from the size of it it's a little bit more bulkier but that's kind of our little um, insight into a sound flat and mat by all means check the link below to our range that we carry as well as other videos we've done on the kind of product and versus air beds and camp beds in a bit more detail so but any more crush queries feel free to comment in the box below or go directly to our website